And right now at 6 o'clock, lucky to be alive, we're talking to the young Miami boy struck in the street last night by a hit-and-run driver. The seven-year-old was struck in the street where he lived. And he is still recovering tonight in the hospital as police look for the driver who hit him. CBS 4's Peter Gench joins us now live at the scene of the hit-and-run with what that boy told him. Peter. Well, Rudabe and Elliot, Jalen Smith was struck right here on this street while playing football last night with his friends. Fortunately, he is going to be okay. Now, we spoke with him inside Jackson Memorial Hospital with the permission of his mother. Jalen Smith knows he could have been seriously injured when he was struck in a hit and run accident. Tell me where you're injured. You're injured on the side of the face? Yeah. Jalen's left eye was nearly damaged. He has a scrape by it. A bandage covers a rash on his left shoulder, and he has a bump on his forehead. When I fell, I hit my head. Did it hurt? Yeah. He was transported to the Ryder Trauma Center around 7.15 Monday night. It happened here on Northwest 6th Court at 70th Street. Jalen was playing football, and it just caught a pass. And when I caught it, I, I, the car just came, and it hit me. Jalen's nine-year-old brother saw what happened. He came by fast around the corner. He had turned. Miami police say they are looking for what could be a newer model, four-door silver Chevrolet Impala, like this one. I was angry. I was I was very upset, and I just to the person that did it, just turn yourself in. That's all you know. You hit a child. It's, it's not like you hit a dog or animal. You hit a kid. We could have lost him. He could have been left for dead. So what would you like to say to the public? I'm, I hope they come out and they see something, say something. Jalen's grandfather has been scouring the neighborhood for surveillance tape of the suspect's vehicle. We need to be caught. I hope he's caught and I hope he's watching this here. And I want to tell you, you will be found. And when you do be found, God have mercy on your soul. And how do you feel about what he did leaving you like that? Now, Jalen's mother believes her son will be back home tonight. The grandfather says that car was southbound here on Northwest 6th Court. Can tell you that Miami police are taking a close look at surveillance tape they recovered from a nearby homeowner. If you can help, call Miami Day Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. We're live in Miami. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.